Yes, today we are going to discuss about Tyndall effect, guys. So, what is Tyndall effect? The phenomenon of scattering of light rays when passing through the colloidal particles is Tyndall effect, right? So, this effect you can clearly see through a room filled with the dust and light entering from the windows. So, in this case, what's happening, you can clearly notice and why we can able to pass the trace of the light, light here because of presence of this dust particles. So, these dust particles are going to act like a suspended colloids in the fluid and they are small solid particles suspended in fluid are generally known as colloidal particles. So, this phenomenon of scattering of light by the colloidal particles is known as Tyndall effect, right? So, we can also observe the Tyndall effect from the dense forest of canopy of trees. So, when light rays passing through the canopy of trees, what we will notice that the water droplets present beneath the tree will scatter the light. So, to understand all these phenomena, we have an experimental setup where we will understand why see uh, why uh, uh, sky is blue in color and why we are seeing the sun during sunrise and sunset as red in color due to scattering of light. So, in this experiment, we have the different sources. Uh, you can notice, boys, you have the source of light S, you have the lens L1, you have the lens, uh, lens L2, Right, you have a small screen with a split on it, hole on it, so that it can pass a beam of the light there. And to note the image, you have a screen and you have a water tank filled with water. Initially, we will take an homogeneous solution in it that is clean water. So when the experiment starts, there will be no trace of the light. Right, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no light ray is being traced or its path is being traced, but. While continuing this experiment, what we will do, we will add hyposolution in water. That is, uh, that is hyposolution. Almost we will take uh, 200 grams of sodium thiosulfate. Then we'll add 1 to 2 ml of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Then what will happen after some time? What will happen? The colloidal particles of the sulfur will be formed. And these colloidal particles of the sulfur will again, what they'll do, they will, yes, scatter the light. So we can see this in experiment, see. So this is the source of light. So source of light will be passing from the lens L1. Then what will happen? This light is passing through the homogeneous mixture of water that is homogeneous solution without any colloidal particles in the tank T. And you are allowing it to pass through a screen Right, and narrow beam of the light was allowed to pass from the converging lens through a you know, through a converging lens onto the screen M N. That is, lens is L two, T is tank, L one is the lens one. The path of the light passing through this true solution, homogeneous solution, is not visible. Now, what I am doing, guys? Take another water tank, add sodium thiosulfate or hypo solution, then add few drops, 1 to 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, I'll keep this experimental setup there. What will happen here? Let's see. So, initially, due to the colloidal solution, colloidal particles, what the path of the light is being traced? Notice it, right? Previously, path of the light is not being traced, but in that solution, it's being traced, right? So, after a few hours, colloidal particles, microscopic sulfur particles are formed. So, color of the solution changes. So from four sides, different color is seen. From three sides, you have the blue color, right? And on the fourth side, you will see the red color. So here, the blue color of the solution is because of scattering of the blue light. Blue light is scattered here because these particles are scattering the blue light and allowing the red light to pass away. So the solution is appearing in blue color. Which particles? Colloidal sulfur particles. And here, the red color is being right uh, coming only because red color have the longer wavelength and it can only pass through this tank. So you are getting the red color. So in this, with this experiment, we can explain why the sky is blue in color. Sky is blue in color because like in this solution, you have the colloidal particles. In sky, you have the colloidal particles of dust. You have water droplets or mist and some gaseous particles. So these small particles can disperse only the blue light can scatter only the blue light so complete sky is appearing in blue color okay guys so let's continue this experiment
so you can see that red spot right is clearly red light is being seen on the screen mn so different colors in the tank are visible due to scattering of light by by colloidal sulfur particle now this is called as tyndall effect right so tyndall effect is also reason for the different colors of the sky colors of the uh, right uh, what can we say clouds and reddening of the sun during sunrise and sunset right and this is because of atmosphere present right and the scattering effect of atmosphere also okay boys so why this is happening why these all different colors is been interesting colors have been seen in the atmosphere see you can see on the earth's atmosphere like we already discussed we have the different particles right so you have in dust particles you have the smoke you have water droplets right so you have suspended dust particles all of them will form the colloidal particles right and they will what they'll do when sunlight is passing through it they will disperse the blue light so the light which is being dispersed is the color of the light which you see that is the basic phenomenon right so the light the particle scatters a particular color of the scattered light and the color you see is that scattered color okay guys yes you can see the small particles present in the atmosphere are more effective to scatter the light of shorter wavelength that is blue light only that's why we are seeing the sky in blue color okay guys the reason behind it and if there is no atmosphere you can't see the blue color right that's why from space you see the color of the sky as dark so scattered blue light enters our eye due to which we see the blue color right and whereas what happens if in dark in night also we don't see any color on the sky because no light no scattering that's why at night the sky color is dark and in atmo in space what's happening there is light but there is no atmosphere so no scattering so two things are important right you even want light and you want even atmosphere right for to show the scattering effect there okay so let's try to understand why sun is red in color during sun rays and sunset so as we discussed about vibgr different colors we know that red have the longest wavelength and the blue have the shortest wavelength and when sun is at horizon when it is raising right sun is raising up and sun is setting down so the longest it will be at the farthest distance so red light will have the longest wavelength and it can travel more so only red light reaches your eye and whereas blue light is already scattered in the sky so the light you see is the color of the sun okay guys so you can see here at the time of sunrise or the sunset the light that reaches our eyes is of the longer wavelength that is red and the sun appears red in color so that's the reason why right we are seeing red color and if the earth has no atmosphere then we will see the dark color of the sky okay guys and now let's the recap what we discussed right what we discussed the path of the light yes the path of the light becomes clearly visible due to scattering of light by the colloidal particles present in the path so what is tyndall effect the phenomenon of scattering of light by a colloidal particle is known as tyndall effect so tyndall effect can help us in understanding many things like wonderful phenomena of the nature like the blue color of the sky like reddening of the sun rays and the sunset right and other things when sunlight strikes the minute particles present in the atmosphere it gets scattered by these particles the particles scattered particular color and the sunlight that we see will be of that color the color of scattering of light also depends on the size of particles smaller the particles smaller may wavelength light will be scattered like blue light whereas larger the particles scatter the color will be of larger wavelength which we are seeing 